The Empire of Calderia was once a paradise. No one knows what led to its downfall. The crisis was so dire that none dared speak of it, but it was connected to a foreign land now considered forbidden. The current emperor, dreaming of a renewed Calderia, has given sanction to the empire's noble families to once again settle those forbidden lands. As the head of one of those noble families, your goal is to seize as much power as possible for yourself, all while avoiding the ire of your own tyrannical viceroy. Great Houses of Calderia is a strategy RPG hybrid very much in the vein of the Crusader Kings series. Taking control of a small fife, the player's goal is to expand their power within the Empire. Much of the work is accomplished through the player's relatives, who have their own social connections, as well as different talents for diplomacy, management, intrigue, and combat. There are a few different mechanical layers for different tasks. Internal management is a matter of assigning workers to different tasks while using relatives to keep production and happiness high enough to encourage growth. Meanwhile, both martial and diplomatic disputes are settled through many games which add a tactical layer to the gameplay. But most of the interactions are conducted between members of the royal family, so managing their relations is critical to success. Overall, Great Houses of Calderia is a bit more accessible than your typical Paradox game and the different play modes add some value. However, veterans of other grand strategy games might find the gameplay a little restrictive and simplistic.